Hello friends, this is Rakesh and welcome to the video on solid geometry. In this video, we will understand the basic concepts of geometrical figures, the three dimensional geometrical figures which appear in various competitive exams. Let's see what all geometrical figures appear in exams. So important figures are cuboid, cube, right circular cylinder, right circular cone, sphere and hemisphere. In schools, we have learned the formulas of volume, the surface area, the total surface area of all these geometrical figures separately. In this video, I will categorize these geometrical figures in three parts. For example, the first three geometrical figures can be categorized under prism. Right circular cone falls under the category of pyramid. So if I can develop a general formula for volume, surface area and other dimension for prism that can be applicable for all three these geometrical figures cube, cuboid and right circular cylinder. Similarly, general formula for pyramid will be applicable for circular cone etc. Before we go ahead, let's see one more important results for any solid figure. For example, say this is a cuboid with vertex A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. There is important relation which is called Euler's root which is this. Now let me explain you what is this F, V and E R. F is face. For example, in this cuboid, B, C, G, F is a face which is denoted by F. B is the vertex. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are vertex and E is the edge. H is the length. For example, A, B is the edge, B, F is the edge, so and so forth. So if we count the number of faces in cuboid, we have six faces. So F is six and vertex, we have eight vertices and number of edges is 12. You can count them. So this relation follows that f which is 6 plus vertex which is 8 is always equal to the edges plus 2. So if you can see that LHS is equal to RHS both being 14. So these are simple rule which we should remember. Now let's move ahead and take prism. Okay. So what is a prism? A prism is any solid figure with concurrent base and top. Both base and top are concurrent. Here I have taken pentagon and it is surrounded by rectangular figure. So you can see that this is a rectangular figure and it is surrounded. So volume for prism is area of base into height. Here height is height between the base and top. So if you see that this part is the height. So suppose the area of pentagon is capital A and height between base and top is H then volume is given straight away as A into H. Now the next thing is lateral surface area. Now what is this lateral surface area? It is the area which is surrounding the base and the top that is these rectangular figures. So you can see there are five rectangular figures. And the area of these five rectangles is equal to the lateral surface area. Now what is the formula for the same? The formula is perimeter of the base into height. Similarly, the total surface area will be lateral surface area plus 2 times the area of the base because we have to include the area of base as well as the top. Now, let me give an idea why this formula appears. This is very simple to understand. When I say volume of the prism, it all depends upon the area of the base and the height it has been taken above. So for example, if this pentagon is lifted to a height h, then it will coincide with the top. So the volume it covers based on the area and the height and hence the formula. Similarly, lateral surface area is perimeter of the base into height. So, these rectangular surfaces are appearing because of the perimeter of the base. So, lateral surface area depends upon the perimeter and the height 
to which it has been lifted above. And similarly, the total surface area is nothing but lateral surface area plus 2 times the area of base. Okay, let's see the prism that is cube, cuboid and cylinder one by one and we'll try to figure out what's the formula for volume, lateral surface area and total surface area individually. Let's take cuboid. So this is a cuboid, say the vertices are A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Now I can assume that A, B, C, D is the base and suppose the base is rectangular and top is also rectangular. So volume will be area of base and let the length of A, B, B, L, B, C, B, the width and A, E, B, the height. So what is the length of rectangle? It is length into width into the height. So this is the formula for volume of cuboid which we have already learnt in schools. Now what is lateral surface area? Lateral surface area will be all the surface excluding the base and the top. So what is the formula for that? It is perimeter of the base into height. So what is the perimeter of the rectangle? That is 2 times length plus breadth. I uh, have taken W here, so let me take B as breadth of the rectangle into height. Now total surface area, we have to add the lateral surface area or we have to add 2 times the area of base with 2 lateral surface area. If I further simplify it, it will be 2 times length into breadth plus length into height plus breadth into height. Now the new thing which has appeared here is body diagonal. We know what is diagonal. It is nothing but in this case say if I join AC it will be the diagonal of this rectangle for two dimensional figure. Now the body diagonal is a diagonal in three dimensional figure. So let me draw a body diagonal to make it clear. So let me join H with B. So BH is the body diagonal here. And we have to find it in terms of length, breadth and height. Now observe that if I join DB then triangle DHD will be a right angle triangle. The right angle at this point I can say that this is a right angle 90 degree. Now applying Pythagoras theorem here, we can get the value of body diagonal. So let body diagonal be D. So D square will be equal to BD square plus DH square. Now what is BD square? BD square is basically diagonal of the surface or diagonal of the base which is a rectangle. So BD square will be L square plus B square and DH is the height so H square the square of body diagonal is this or body diagonal is equal to under root of L square plus B square plus H square. So this is the formula for body diagonals. Let me write it here. It will be under root of L square plus B square plus H square. Now let's move to next category of prism which is cube. Now this has become simple. A cube is nothing but a cuboid with all length, width and height being same. So all the edges are same. So we can apply all the formulas of cuboid in cube. So here the volume or let me take that length is length, width and height. All three becomes A. So all the edges become A here. So volume would be A into A into A which is A cube and lateral surface area would be 4 times of A square because A square is the area of one face and there are four lateral faces. Total surface area we have to add the base and top both so it will be 4 A square plus 2 times of A square or equal to 6 A square. Body diagonal we know that the formula is under root of length square plus width square plus height square which is equal to A root of 3. 
here the body diagonal will be let me draw it for you to make it clearer the body diagonal is this point so this is quite simple now let's move to next phrase which is cylinder now cylinder also falls under prism here i can say that it's a prism with the base is of infinite length the circle can be assumed as a polygon with infinite length formula for the volume would be area of the base now let this is the center and since this is a circle so this is the radius r and this is height h you see that the volume will be area of base into height so it will be pi into r square this is the area of base into height h or pi r square h this is what the volume of cylinder similarly curved surface area here the lateral faces will be curved so we call it lateral surface area which means same you can call it lateral surface area also make the same sense so curved surface area is perimeter of the base into height so it, perimeter is 2 pi r into h will be the curved surface area and total surface area we have to add the curved surface area plus 2 times the area of base which is pi r square simplifying it 2 pi r will be common so r plus h so this becomes the formula for total surface with this i'll end this video here in the next part of the same we'll take general formula for pyramid and we'll apply those formula to cone thank you